Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to all my vegans, veganettes, and not so vegans across the globe. It's your girl, Abeja Theatra, and welcome back to another episode of Cause It's Vegan! I gotta eat it. There's no way I could ever go vegan. I'm not about to spend the rest of my life eating rabbit food. So guess what we are digging into today, you guys? A very particular brand, Dr. Preggers. I mean, Preggers. <laughs> <laughs> so I was at Whole Foods the other day, you know, one of the main stores I go to, and they had something really cool, sliders. And I was like, hmm, I wonder what their sliders would taste like. First, I've never had a chicken sandwich from Dr. Prager's or their hamburgers. So I was like, it would be nice to try that out. That's what I got. Perfect sliders and buffalo chicken sliders yummy hopefully so just to give you guys quick information about these things so that we can get into the taste test each pack comes with two burgers or two sliders I should say and they already come with the buns on them so what you'll do is heat the oven to 425 degrees and then pop your sliders into the oven for like six minutes flip them on the other side for another six minutes and halfway through you're gonna put the buns in to eat those up as well and that's it then it says let them sit for a little bit dress your burger up however you want to so when it comes to both of these they are soy free so that is very exciting. These are also whole grain, awesome. So when it comes to the perfect slider, like the patty buns, it is going to be 20 grams of plant protein, yay. And that's per two sliders, not just one of them. And then with the buffalo chicken sliders, it's actually going to be 19 grams. Why is it one less? I don't know and I don't care let's go ahead and take a look at these shall we now normally when i try things i try them absolutely plain but i went ahead and dressed up my sliders because i'm like hey that's how we're gonna eat them anyway right i could taste the meat by itself but oh why so as you can see i've got my cute these are so cute okay i've got my cute little sliders ready i've got some some chow cheese then a little lettuce we've got some mayo pickles onions and ketchup it's pretty much that's all on these but i'm sure you can tell this is chicken this is hamburger so let's go on and try them so first we're actually going to start with the hamburger just to show you guys one more time it looks very good like a hamburger now let's bite it i don't want to make a mess I need another bite. And I'm not saying that just because I'm actually hungry because I haven't eaten all day. Hmm. Okay. So you guys can see it, the inside. That's what it looks like. Um, I'm gonna say that this slider is good. It tastes like the hamburger. Now granted, non-vegan people may say, I can taste the difference. I wasn't really a big hamburger person, so I can't really say I taste the difference. All I can say is that this tastes good. It doesn't taste exactly like the Impossible Burger, but it's actually pretty close. Pretty darn close. And it didn't take too long to make either. Yeah, very good. It makes me excited to try the buffalo chicken. Hopefully it's buffalo E. Definitely from the black bean burger that I had from Dr. Prager's. I do value their brand, actually. So I'm excited to try this buffalo chicken. I made it my chocolate milk. Here we are with the little cute chicken sandwich. Little chicken patty. Oh yeah, and with that cheese too. I'm sorry, this ain't about the cheese, but mm, chow cheese be on point, y'all. One of my favorite brands. Um, I'm not really getting any buffalo from the chicken sandwich, 
I'm not sure if that's because I have other stuff on top of it, but I feel like I should still be able to taste that anyway. Don't really taste buffalo, just taste chicken, which is fine, but to a degree it's not fine because I really did want the buffalo. It's an average chicken, uh, well, vegan chicken sandwich that I've had. I've definitely had better. If I had to pick between the sliders, and the buffaloes. I'm gonna go with the sliders because they taste really good like hamburger meat. I mean, it's good quality. I don't feel like it's greasy or oily or anything like that. It tastes very clean, very light. And I guess Dr. Prager's says they have purely sensible foods. To me, it tastes sensible. I don't know how, but it does. I mean, so that was pretty much it. I feel like this is a very, very short video, but not every video has to be long. All I'm saying is, if Dr. Prager's sliders ever piqued your curiosity and you're wondering, is it worth it? Personally, I believe they are. If you're a, kind, a sliders kind of person, my thing is for the most part, when it comes to trying things out, I mostly will not say that something is not worth the cost. Some people might say, oh, it's not worth that. But to me, if I want it, it's worth it. And that's pretty much there is to it. Um, unless, you know, something is like really pricey and you know, it's nasty or, or it's not that flavorful or not that good, then I can say, oh yeah, it's not really worth the price. But if I at least think it's good and it's expensive, to me, it's worth it. Make sure you love your dogs, love your neighbors, love Dr. Prager's, but most importantly, remember to love peaches and all the sneetches. <laughs>